Pam. Dutch oven 101. What do we need to know? What is this? How does it cook food? This is a one pot dish. Things that you cook in there, you dump all your ingredients in and you cook it. It's like a crock pot. Absolutely. But you're using woods. briquettes and fire to, to, as, a, as a heat source. Absolutely. It is cast iron, so you season it and it should be non-stick. But I'm lazy and so therefore I have filled it full of aluminum foil so that I have less cleanup. When okay. I'm done with my meal, I take this out, throw it away. Here is the lid. It needs to sit tightly on that. Okay. The motto is if, if you're looking, it ain't cooking. So the idea is to leave it on there. That's how the heat cooks it. Where does the heat go? Where do the briquettes okay. go? Okay. Uh, depending on the size of your Dutch oven, there's usually a three up, three down rule. Okay. Now we're into math. This is a 12 inch oven. So if I want 325 degrees, I'm going to add three to the diameter. So 12 plus three is 15. I would need 15 briquettes arranged symmetrically on top. Okay. And I would need three less underneath, okay. which would be nine. So we'd have nine down here. Wow, you're blowing my mind, but just keep going. And we'd have 15 up here to get 325 degrees. Okay. And so the only thing you need to watch is as time goes by or if it's windy, those, those briquettes do die down, you might need to replenish. So that's okay. the idea here. This is a portable table. We do not want to put uh, hot briquettes on the earth. Okay. Scorches it. Once you have your briquettes on there and you do need to peek after so long, you just can't stand it. Right. You put it under here and you lift it, lift up. it up. This Look is a lid there. holder as you would not want to put a hot lid in the dirt and then have to put the lid back onto your dish. So that's about all you need. There you go. Well, thank you. You're welcome.